Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you the placement tool. So this tool is basically, by default, we have this line that will allow us to place certain models. So when I move the line, it will follow and place models according to the line. So here we, are, we have our parameters again. I have here the spacing. So if I increase this, the spacing between each model will increase. We also have here options for the rotation. So let's say we can here have a target. So I can have X or Z to have different uh, directions. But most of the time you might most of the time you might use the Y axis since that is the up axis in Houdini. We also have here a roll. We can roll and twist some of the placements to get some more randomness in there. Then further we have also scale. So at the moment, nothing is really happening because the minimum and maximum scale is set to one. So if I would play around with this, you can see that there is some scale variation. We also have here scale along curve. So that means that this, that here at the beginning, the scale is, set, is the highest and here at the end, the scale is the lowest. With this ramp, we can further control this more if you want to. Then also, if you want to use custom models, we're going to go here to the last step with instance. We're going to go here to Unreal. Then there will be an asset link here. And now we're going to have to link a asset. So here in my case, I want to use this asset. So I'm going to right click, copy the reference, and I'm going to paste down the reference in here. And now my asset is assigned to that line. Also a useful option here in the rotation is always look up. And this will actually force the models to always face in the up direction. Otherwise, it's sort of like facing based on this line. So in some cases, you're, you're not always wanted. Now, another option here is the scatter on object. So let's say I want to just scatter some grass or pillars in a certain area. So let me grab here a plane. And on that plane, I would like to scatter something. We can also use the terrain or other objects. So I'm going to go to scatter. I'm going to set the mode to scattering here as well. I want to use an input. I'm going to set this input to world outliner. I'm going to start selecting, which in this case is this grid. So use selection. And now we will just scatter these models on the grid. Now further here, we have some settings. So at the top here, I have actually a direction. So the Y axis is the up axis. So this means that if, for example, my plane was a sphere, I would only place objects on top of the sphere and not at the bottom. Here we also have a density control. So increasing this will create more of them. So by default, it's set to a lower value. We can also here relax the points so they will be closer to each other. Then we also have here a rotation, so I can add random rotations. So let's say I want to add random rotations in the Y axis. So let's increase this. And now we can see we have some randomness there. We can also use the other axis as well. And we have a seat for this as well. Then further, we also have scale. So I can get variations in there. We can also have the noise and play around with that value. So we can, for example, scatter grass or other models. And that was it for the placement tool.